Synthesis Strategies with Alcohols. First, let's do a little review on how to go back and forth between single, double, and triple bonds. Here we have an alkyne, an alkene, and an alkane, all with four carbons. The alkyne is 1-butyne, the alkene is 1-butene, and the alkane is just butane. How would you go from an alkyne to an alkene? You need to reduce one of the pi bonds, but not the second one. So you can do poison catalyst, H2 and Linlars. Or you could also do the dissolving metal reduction, sodium metal in liquid ammonia. And then to go all the way to the alkane, from the alkene, we just do catalytic hydrogenation, H2PT. Catalytic hydrogenation would take us all the way from the alkyne to the alkane without stopping at the alkene. What about going back the other way? To get from the alkane, sorry, the alkene to the alkyne, we need to do a two-step, actually a three-step synthesis first We'd use Br2 and CCl4 to get the vicinal dibromide. Then we'd use excess sodium amide. That would take us to the alkanide ion. And then we'd use H2O as a mild acid to protonate the alkanide ion. To go from an alkane to an alkene, we'd also have to do a two-step process. First, we'd have to do radical halogenation, and um, we get better radioselectivity using bromine. And second, we would do terp-butoxide to do the um, Hoffman elimination. Another interconversion we need to be able to do is to interconvert alcohols with carbonyls. So a primary alcohol can be interconverted with an aldehyde via oxidation. So here we have on the left hand side one propanol, a primary alcohol, and on the right we have an aldehyde and the name of the aldehyde is propanal aldehyde so we actually have three different sets of reagents that will accomplish this conversion we could use pyridinium chlorochromate in dichloromethane Or we could use the Swern oxidation, which would be dimethyl sulfoxide and oxalyl chloride, C2O2Cl2 is oxalyl chloride. Or we could use the Desmartin pyridinane, DMP. And that also needs to be done in dichloromethane. So those are three different ways to oxidize all the way to an aldehyde. There's another oxidizing agent called Jones reagent, which involves generating chromic acid in situ. But Jones reagent would take us all the way to a carboxylic acid. We'll go back to that later. If we want to go back the other way, instead of oxidizing, 
we need to reduce sodium borohydride is a good choice followed by water actually it doesn't have to be followed by water it can be done in water or in methanol you could use lithium aluminum hydride LAH as well sorry so one LAH and then step two H2O to act as a weak acid. Now LAH is stronger than you actually need for this but it still works and remember sodium borohydride and LAH are what we call nucleophilic hydrides. If we want an oxidizing agent strong enough to take us from a primary alcohol all the way to a carboxylic acid a carboxylic acid represents the most oxidized carbonyl carbon. So we need our most powerful oxidizing agent, which is Jones reagent, H2CrO4. Now we generate that in situ. And there are two easy ways to generate Jones reagent in solution. One is chromium trioxide acid and acetone this is the condensed formula for or the condensed structure for acetone and the other way to generate a uh, Jones reagent is with sodium dichromate Na2Cr2O7 um, sulfuric acid and water both of these generate Jones reagent in situ. Because the carbonyl carbon in the carboxylic acid is so oxidized, sodium borohydride is not strong enough to accomplish the reduction. You need to have excess lithium aluminum hydride followed by water or dilute acid. Always keep in mind that this Jones reagent contains a chromium-6 ion, which is very toxic. So we want to avoid it if possible. But if we're trying to make a carboxylic acid out of a primary alcohol, this might be the easiest way. There is actually an alternate route that involves making an alkyne and then doing hydroboration oxidation. That might be better in that you can avoid using chromium-6. However, it is a lot more steps. How would you convert this secondary alcohol, 2-butanol, into the ketone 2-butanone? Well, you need an oxidizing agent. But now we don't need to use Jones reagent. We could use pyridinium chlorochromate in dichloromethane, but that creates chromium 6 plus. There are two better alternatives. There's the Swern oxidation again, dimethyl sulfoxide, and oxalyl chloride. We could also use the desmartin pariodinane DMP in dichloromethane. And I would say that these two are preferable because they do not make chromium-6. So the swern oxidation or the desmartin pariodinane are greener options. To go from the ketone back to the secondary alcohol, sodium borohydride in methanol or 
lithium aluminum hydride, followed by water.